Good morning, everyone. Uh, first of all, can everyone hear me? Is the microphone working? Excellent. All right, well, welcome to the 2023 edition of the Haskell Implementers Workshop. I am really hyped to be here right now and being able to, to run this thing. And so hopefully you are too. Uh, we've got an exciting lineup of talks today. Uh, but before we get into the talks, I have a couple of administrative things I want to go over real quick. So first and foremost, um, you know, there's Oh, okay. Um, is is that possible to, to to do on the microphone, or does that have to be done on that end? <laughs> okay. Testing. One, two, three. Is is that better? Okay, well, I mean, it, it's important to get this right now because we're going to be passing this around and having this for audience questions, and we want to make sure that everyone can hear the audience. So, okay. Uh, okay, um, I, will, I will try to speak into the, the microphone as closely as I can. And, uh, yeah, this is important because there is a virtual component to the Haskell Implementers Workshop. So we have a YouTube live stream in addition to... Uh, being able to watch it in person, and you can go to the ICFP website where they have a list of all the rooms in this building. We're in the Grand Crescent room, so go there for the live stream. Um, one slightly counterintuitive thing is that I think YouTube live streams have a comment section, but they've told us not to leave comments there. Instead, you should leave comments on our Discord instance, which you can also find on the ICFP website. And there's a HIW channel specifically for the Haskell Implementers Workshop. Uh, there's also a specific thread uh, for each individual talk that's going to be given at the workshop. So I please do leave comments on the thread for the specific talk, and that way we can keep the discussion relatively self-contained, because otherwise Discord kind of becomes a, a blur of random comments, and it's harder to follow. Um, so we, we have someone here monitoring the live stream to make sure that things go okay uh, video and audio-wise, but if you're watching this virtually and you notice any issues, uh, please let us know, and we'll try to get it fixed as soon as we can. Uh, here's a, a really brief overview of what the schedule is going to be. Uh, this is, again, from the ICFP website. Uh, we're in the GEC status report session right now, and that's going to last until 10.30, and then we'll break. We'll come back at 11 for the first session of full-length talks, and that will last until 12.30, and then we break for lunch. We'll come back at 1400 for the second session. That goes until 15.30, and then finally we come back at 1600 for the last session. Uh, Note that the breaks and the lunch break are synchronized across all the different workshops. So like this schedule is basically the exact same as you would find at any other workshop. So when you break, you'll have time to mingle with people from other workshops as well. Um, one thing that I'll ask for the presenters for the full-length talks uh, who are going to be in each of the uh, sessions one through three, please come and test your device on this projector before the session in which you're slated to speak. and. Hopefully that way we can iron out any technical issues that might arise because you never know what happens when you try to plug HDMI cables into laptops and it, it's always a mess. So, so please test it out beforehand. Uh, so note that each session has a number of full length talks and these are going to be around 30 minutes in length, including questions. Uh, there's also going to be a number of lightning talks in each session as well. And that is the last thing I want to talk about. So one of the cool things about the Haskell Implementers Workshop is that uh, you can sign up to give a lightning talk with relatively little overhead. All you have to do is go to this Google form, which is on the ICFP website under the HIW track. Um, if you have a relatively self-contained idea, it doesn't need to be fully baked, but a self-contained idea about something that uh, might be of interest to the people in the audience, maybe you have some kind of work in progress development you want to show off, maybe you have some problem that you think people in the audience would find interesting, or maybe you just want feedback or collaboration on some idea, uh, a lightning talk is perfect for this. Uh, I ask that each lightning talk should aim to be around 10 minutes in length, maybe shorter if we get a bunch of lightning talks. We do have some slots still open for that, so it's not too late to submit one if, if you have something that you want to uh, come up with a presentation for at the last second. Uh, one request I want to make of lightning talk speakers, uh, 
if at all possible, send me a copy of your slides. Uh, the way I'd like to run it is to have all the slides from different Lightning Talk speakers uh, queued up ahead of time before the session begins, and that way we can minimize the amount of downtime in between each Lightning Talk speaker. That might not always be possible, like maybe you have a live demo of some sort that you want to give. If that's the case, then it's fine to use your own device for that, but again, please do test out your device before the session begins if you want to do it that way. Um, so. This is also a reminder to any Lightning Talk speakers who have already signed up, please send me your slides and we'll get things set up in the session before you're slated to talk. Um, so I, I think that covers that. Or is there any questions about sort of how that's run? Cool. Well, if not, then I want to hand it off briefly to Richard Eisenberg, the chair of the Haskell Foundation. Uh, he has a brief announcement to give and then we'll hand things off to Simon, who's our, our first speaker. Thanks, Ryan. Um, uh, I am uh, chair of the board at Haskell Foundation. Um, some of you may have seen this on discourse in the last week, um, but the current executive director of the Haskell Foundation, David Christensen, um, he has decided to take sort of a, a, an amazing opportunity um, over in Lean Land to help develop Lean. This, this is something that really aligns with his interests. So he, he regretfully had to submit his resignation. So we are seeking a new executive director of the Haskell Foundation. I will be around all week, happy to answer questions about that or, or, or talk to you. But if, uh, if you like the idea of sort of organizing us all and, and, and helping us to forge, forge forward and, uh, and make an even better language, that would be fantastic. Come talk to me. Um, you can see our website is haskell.foundation, and then there's a, there's a button on the top. If you go to there, you can find careers for full job posting. That's it. Um. All right. Thank you, Richard. Uh, I'll go ahead and get things set up with you, Simon.